Late this afternoon, Arlington police released body camera videos of a shooting Friday night that left an Arlington officer wounded and a young man dead. That man's family had been demanding answers about what happened. Police say the video show the man shot at officers first. Here's News 8's Lauren Zakalik. You uh, had your signal turned off when I got behind you. I Friday night, Arlington police say they pulled over a car with four people inside for a traffic violation which soon turned into a drug investigation. Okay. Is there any weed in the car tonight? No. Okay. You're about to see a backup right, officer ask a passenger named Treshawn Miller to exit the car. Do you have anything on you? On you? Huh? He immediately flees with the backup officer chasing him and the main officer close behind. <laughs> Backup officer, a 17 year veteran, was shot and injured. Miller was shot and died. Arlington Police Chief Will Johnson. In terms of the sequence of firing, I think it's clear on the video that the suspect shot first. Miller's family and their attorney, Justin Moore, also viewed the video today, but they feel it's inconclusive. Looking at that officer's body cam, you can't see who pulled their gun first and you can't see who fired shots first. Police also released the dash cam video and the body cam video of the main officer on scene for another perspective. In total, more than a dozen shots were fired. Right now, there is no evidence to support that the officer that was wounded discharges his weapon at all. We have more questions, of course, but we're going to allow APD to uh, internally investigate this case. We're going to allow them to do what they're paid to do, and hopefully we get more answers after that investigation has been rendered. In Arlington, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News. Court records show Miller had two hearings coming up, one for a burglary of a habitation charge and one for a marijuana possession charge. The officer who was shot was released from the hospital but has a long recovery ahead.